So now uh, I'm demonstrating uh, how to move all the curves where g is zero. So let's before doing that, my first step is I will test with one line first. Then I will reapply by selecting all curves. So step by step. So let's say I need a curve. So I type curve. Okay, uh, I make another new rule. You don't need to submit any today's assignment, but submit the demo exercise, what we are doing today, right? Submit today, right after class. Then you have a free day, so. Ooh. <laughs> I just make sure that everybody it's Christmas. Huh? It's Christmas. <laughs> So you have every, uh, Christmas every two times in a week. <laughs> so I just select one curve. I probably select the top one. And then let's see what is the data type. So I'm using panel. So what I have is actually a one reference closed curve. And then probably each curve has a starting and end point. So let's say going to vector. And then I may find a first start point or end point. So probably I will just search it like uh, end point. So I select it. So I have a curve. Then it will give you both start and end curve. So it doesn't really matter which one you may want to use it. So I will want to see what is the start point. So also using panel. So I, will, I may use a start point. So the start point is 4.1, 6.43, and 12.875. So now I know the three coordinates, and I want to use each one individually. To do that, I need to use deconstruct the point, which is this one, in vector, deconstruct vector. So I connect it to start point to vector and using panel so now I'm going to focus only on Z coordinate I connect the Z and panel so I only got 12.8 which is actually the height of the start point of the curve so so far it is clear right so now I reconstruct this information using Construct, uh, not vector XYZ, Use, uh, just vector XYZ. This will construct a point. So I connect X to X, Y to Y, and Z, but I will kind of change the Z direction. Oh no, sorry for that. I need to, um, uh, I need to reconstruct. What I'm going to do is vector. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, no, it's correct. So now, but we need to a little bit manipulate the value of G. How can you move? the G coordinate to zero. We know that the point is 12. How can it move back to zero? Negative 12. Huh? Negative 12. Exactly. So I will multiply this value and minus one. I type minus one and enter. Oh, okay, then I will type simply, I type integer and I'll set the value as minus 1 and click commit changes and I also change the name integer minus 1 so I know that the value is minus 1 so what should be the value then? probably minus 12 point something so we have that so this one I connect the z value how do you change the value of the integer again? You just rename it? Oh yeah, just here, do you see that? You just I just typed it, it yeah. Okay. This is on simply text. Oh, okay. Okay. oh yeah, then to change the value, yeah, change I the change value. the value here in the set integer. Oh, okay. So now this is the vector. Simply it is a vector. So let's just say what is the vector again. So I'll check a panel. If I check the vector, it says, I will compare the original one and the new one. Uh, not this one. Okay, this one is the original one, original vector. This one is the new vector. 
every values are the same but this x value x is actually minus 12 so you got the idea so now we are going to move this curve to this using this vector to move that simply type move and what is geometry this is our first curve so where is our curve which is actually actually way way far from the original so i just bring it temporarily to connect it. so i connect curve and geometry and bring it back and i'll connect this vector to here and when i see that do you see the curve is located on the bottom but here something strange thing happened right this one is also x and y is changed can you guess what happened here exactly so now i kind of distinguish that the vector and uh, point coordinate so point coordinate let's say we have a point this is the slide that everybody can see if i go a little bit up, you can see me okay so point is location so when i say that one comma one comma one which means this one is somewhere in the space in one comma one comma one but when i say vector vector means you start from 0 to that point. So do you see the idea? So the vector here, let's see the value. 4, 6, minus 12. What does that mean? You didn't move also x, 4, and y, 6, and minus 12. So do you see the difference vector and the point coordinate? So what is the right value for x and y? Yeah. Yes. So simply I will disconnect that. So now you see that 0, 0 and minus 12. So now the actually the curve is located right underneath. So now I'm what I'm going to do, so I'm pretty much confirm that everything works fine no error so now i'm select all the curves at the same time and test whether this one works for everything so instead now i will select set multiple curves and i'll select all curves and you see that all curves are actually underneath on zero so regardless where the each curve is located Oh, actually, yeah, I think it's purge or something. I will check it, but I'm not so sure. So I didn't get mine didn't move. Mine, mine just so highlighted on the case. Okay, so this is how to move X. 